Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for tuning in again. This is uh, episode number six of my 15-part series uh, about my photo book, Why I Cry on Airplanes. I'm really happy that uh, you, you're joining again today. Um, today, I'm going to take you back to Malawi. Malawi is also where we started in episode number one, if you remember, uh, because I have a, 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 a series that I've called The Door. And actually, it's about access to healthcare. Um, like I said in the first episode, Malawi is an overpopulated country. There's a lot of strain on a lot of services, and one of those services where it is most noted is uh, is in the healthcare system. And so, um, I've taken photographs in several health centers, and this short series is from one of them. And they all revolve around access. And uh, what better? a symbolic element is there for access than a simple door. And so the photo that I want to start with is this one. Um, and what we see here is a woman with a child in her arms trying to get through a door. And from the charts that are taped on the inside of the, of the door, we can assume that she is entering a doctor's office. Now, the charts themselves, they give you some kind of an idea as to the kind of challenges that the healthcare system is up against. And behind the woman in the foreground, we can see a background of uh, a small crowd in the waiting room. And it becomes clear that there is some pressure for people to try to get in. Now it's clear that the woman is somewhat in a hurry. Maybe that's because she's been waiting quite a while or um, the child might be quite sick, but she looks quite quite anxious. Her facial expression really, you know, calls your attention. But there's another face in there, slightly hidden, which I really like, uh, and that also draws my attention. And that is the child which is behind her. There's a child in pink and blue, pink and blue dress. And what's unique about her is that she's looking straight into the camera. That actually connects this photo to the next one, which is that very same waiting room that we see behind this woman. Now in this photo, it's a little bit more quiet there. People are patiently waiting. That is because the door is closed. It's this photo. The door is here. Um, and you can see that there are some people waiting. Uh, again, you get a sense of how busy it is, considering there's only one doctor at the other side of that door. And then there's the child who is sitting there, looking straight at us through the lens of the camera into our eyes. This one look, which is directed straight at me, really makes me think about why she is there, but also why are all these other people there? And if we go one more step back and we go to the process of actually getting into the waiting room, we end up at this photo. This photo is not far from there, behind where I'm standing, or behind the camera, I should say, there's a nurse's office and uh, that nurse's office has a window and through that window is kind of the intake. And there's quite a long line of people trying to get an appointment with a doctor, trying to get in. The nurse cannot be seen here, but she is to our right. Um, and she's actually trying to direct everybody to remain calm. Everyone will be served. So never a better time really to talk about these photos. This particular photo just like the first one that I showed you, it radiates a certain amount of stress. And that stress is very typical for the whole Malawi healthcare system. Um, and especially in these days with the uh, global health crisis of the COVID-19, um, I'm thinking a lot about all of the countries that have fragile healthcare systems and that might not be able to cope with a major outbreak. Um, I'm in touch with people, obviously. I think about the people I worked with and about the friends that I made there. Uh, and I'm hoping for the best. So yeah, I wanted to bring that home with uh, by showing you uh, this uh, short series of photos from Malawi. There's uh, one more uh, session on Malawi, a couple of s sessions later, a couple of episodes later, but we'll get to that. First, let me show you the photograph we're gonna talk about next week. That is this one. Um, and this one is from Thailand. 
So, totally different corner of the world. Okay, so thanks very much. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, this was the sixth episode. Uh, the next one is on Wednesday, Wednesday the 29th of April, 4 p.m. again. If you don't own a copy of the book and you want to get one, uh, you can get it at the website of the book, whyicryonairplanes.com. And right now I am publishing a short discount code, uh, a small discount code that you can use to, uh, to apply to your purchase. Uh, thanks again for, um, for joining us and uh, I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday.